So how safe is that plane you're taking for the next flight? Some of the nation's major airlines have canceled hundreds of flights recently so that their planes can be inspected. This just weeks after the FAA ordered a check of all U.S. Airlines maintenance records. Later this week, a congressional committee plans to hold a hearing into whether the FAA is doing enough to make sure the planes you ride are safe. Joining us now to discuss the issue of aviation safety, analyst and founder of airsafe.com, Dr. Todd Curtis. Dr. Curtis, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Well, what about this? Should people be concerned about the planes that they're flying every day at the airport? Well, so far with this audit that's been happening with all the major airlines of the U.S., there are no real needs for concern. There have been a few minor problems uncovered, but fortunately nothing major. So when, when people see these uh, maintenance checks and, and large numbers of uh, planes being grounded, th there's, there's not a reason for concern? Well, the reason for concern isn't with the aircraft itself. It's with the process that the FAA has to oversee maintenance and safety. Uh, the breakdown that happened with Southwest might be indicative of a larger problem within the FAA. That is, an inability to properly oversee the maintenance that's done by the airlines. So what do you expect during next week's hearing on Capitol Hill? Well, I expect a lot of very close questioning of the FAA and the process they've had for the last several decades, really, of not doing the maintenance, let's say, but overseeing the maintenance that's done by the airlines. Uh, they have their watchdogs there with the airlines, and if the watchdogs do their job, we can fly safely. Yeah, so that is the question. Is the FAA doing enough, in your opinion? Well, they, may have, they were not doing enough with the Southwest case, clearly. clearly. Uh, when the problem was discovered with Southwest, the 46 or so airplanes that were affected should have been grounded. They weren't grounded. They kept flying for almost 1,500 more flights. And there was a slight, albeit very small, risk for passengers during those 1,500 flights. And what they've done since then to rectify that, I think, will keep this from happening in the short term. My concern is the long-term health of the system and whether the FAA can reform itself uh, sufficiently. Okay, Dr. Curtis, last thing. I mean, if, I'm, if you're a passenger and you're heading to the airport and you see these reports about maintenance issues in Southwest and American grounding planes, you're saying, don't get scared, keep flying. Absolutely. Uh, the only inconvenience I see for the passengers in the short term is that other airlines, in addition to American and Delta, may do precautionary groundings to make absolutely sure that all the safety maintenance that should have been done with the aircraft were done. So far, as I said before, nothing major has been found, and let's hope it stays that way. Okay. Dr. Todd Curtis, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.